Hi everyone, hope you're well. Just clicking on a video. It's Sunday the 15th of January. I've just been out on the bike uh, visiting an old stately home and there's an old historic World War II airfield nearby called Winfield. Yeah, near Charter Hall. I've just got a little bit of information about it. And uh, went over to Barrack on Tweed, get a coffee. It's been freezing cold today. Can't wait for the summer time to come. But yeah, I managed to capture some wild deer with the drone. I got quite close to them and they kind of like scampered off. The airfield I've ridden about has a connection with the bear that I did a video about. I'll leave a link above. Um, there's a statue, memorial statue uh, in Dunce. Um, Wozak, I think it's pronounced. It's the bear that ate cigarettes and drank beer. I found an old photograph. He was actually based at the airfield. Wotak. The Siberian bear adopted by the Polish, relaxing at Winfield Airfield, the unit's temporary home after the war. After finding the bear as a young cub, wrapped around the neck of a small Iranian boy, Lance Corporal Peter Prendis took him and adopted him. After the war, on the 28th of October 1946, the Polish army, along with the bear, arrived at Winifield, displaced persons camp. Little did they know what a stir Wojak would cause. As displaced persons, the Polish men would venture into nearby barrack, where the locals grew fond of them, and drinks flowed in abundance. Wojak, the bear, <laughs> would go with them, becoming familiar, if not unorthodox sight amongst the streets and bars of Barrack. This cigarette-smoking, beer-loving character often caused a stir wherever he went. He became renowned in the area. The local villagers would flock to see him. He joined in with the frolics and loved the life that he was being allowed to live. Wotak became part of the local history. Eventually, a year after the arrival, the Polish Union were demobilised and then moved away. Wotek was given to Edinburgh Zoo to, for them to look after him, who did until his death, aged 21 in 1963. A statue stands in Prince's Garden beneath Edinburgh Castle as a reminder of both him. There's also a statue in Duns in the Market Square. After the Polish troops left, Winfield was allocated to the United States Air Force and earmarked for development but this never materialised and the site was left dormant. Winfield then reverted back to RAF control some five years later in 1955, whereupon it was disposed of and sold off. <laughs> Fascinating.
yeah, cheers for watching the video, guys. And I'll see you on the next one, yeah. Ta-da! Mm -hmm.